this video is of video clips of Valparaiso, which is my absolute favorite city so far. My interpretation is that these people do not want department store and hotel chains. They love the simplisticness of their culture. And yet they have found a way to bring art into their streets that explains their heritage. Bella Parisio is probably the most colorful city that Jim and I have ever seen. So this is a graffiti or mural that is right down on the port. And a really cute house that's been redone. And the port. Historically, Palo Parisio's port attracted people from all over the world and the city flourished. Nowadays, Palo Parisio's strongest magnet is its stunning street art. Jim and I are no graffiti fans, but when you see the art on the streets of Palo Parisio, you'll understand why we've changed. When you see it, you'll understand why. It's hard to find a house facade which doesn't tell a story. Tell me about this mural. Well, this uh, represents the different groups of uh, Aborigines in Chile, between, uh, from the north. with this uh, dessert, the driest dessert in mm -hmm. the world. And Rapa Nui, the aboriginal of uh, Easter Island, but because Easter mm -hmm. Island belonged to Chile in the, belonged to the, this region, the fifth region. And uh, after this, you can see the Mapuche woman with a neck, uh, mm -hmm. neck necklace mm -hmm. yes. uh, in his uh, uh, chest. It's uh, called Trape la Cucha. It's used for um, ritual. Okay. In the last part, you can see a cell nam. This is the aborigine of the Patagonia. Okay. The, the last uh, aborigine in the, the southern huh? point huh? Of, uh, of Chile. And the figure above the man here? This man? Yes, uh, uh, there's a shadow, kind of the octopus this type. This is the god of Rapa Nui. Okay. The people of Easter Island. Uh -huh. Represent um, a bird man. Okay. It's like a hombre uh -huh. pájaro. This is used for ritual in, in the island. Uh huh. Volcanoes, yes. Mother Nature, many different kinds of uh, landscape in Chile, mm -hmm. and with mm -hmm. different kinds of uh, Aborigines. Mm -hmm. in all the long country, long and mm -hmm. straight country, mm -hmm. narrow country. Yes. Everything is colorful: facades, doors, windows, staircases even rubbish bins. If you are very lucky, you will see an uh, artist working on a new piece. The so, song of the city. What was his name again? Uh, Osvaldo Rodriguez. Okay, and so this is a mural of his song? Yeah, of in, in the honor, in honor to this In uh, honor of, artist, okay. To the fisherman. Okay. So this is his song that he wrote and this is the mural of that song. And you can kind of see he's holding out his hands so it's like a futuristic, uh, in the future type of uh, symbolism.
and this was started about three weeks ago and or a month and it's not quite done but they're getting there you can see the white outlined area which is the portion that is not finished the streets are narrow and cozy restaurants bars and cafes invites you to relax and enjoy the day She is the woman of the north. She's uh, from uh, Quechua and she is a Mapuche. Okay, so two different tribes. Yeah. Okay. The north and the south. Uh huh. And she is uh, taking uh, what is the name of the uh, kulturum? Is the name of this instrument to make the uh, uh, rituals. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The word stress or hectic don't exist in the hills of this city. Caro Concepcion and Caro Agregia are the most diversified areas for exploring the city's colorful street art. <laughs> okay. In a deep area. A deep area of his brain. Yeah. All right, <laughs> all right. And did he paint the entire mural? No, there are three so artists, I think. There are he painted the, he painted the the orange yeah. uh, creature. The, the, the like the, uh, snakes? Yes. All yeah. these the characters are painted by him, okay. by Kweji Mangi. And okay. the rest are another artist. I think it was uh, three artists. This right. mural is a true image of what the city is like today. Graffiti street art is the thing that makes Bella Parisio unique and very colorful. Jim and I so enjoyed our day here, and we want to thank especially our guide, Daniela. We had the most incredible day.